Just some pasta, welcome. Nice hair, bro. Hey, at least uh, at least he comes in here and is like, like actually like. I like I love people who love hair. Hey, at least he's not that one guy. Um, remember that guy that came in and was like, "If I saw you out in public, I carry around a pair of scissors and I'd cut your hair off." <laughs> Oh, God. Anyway, Tigers and Pirates. Uh, Chad Cool versus Matt Boyd. Yeah. That guy was silly, dude. That's, that's so stupid. That, but that's Twitch chat for you. Leonis Martin leads off. Hey, like I said, his average really his, uh, has been climbing. But still needs to still needs some work. Leonis Martin, what are we thinking? Five pitch pitchers, Chad Cool, and we call the first pitch. Do we dare? Ah! <laughs> oh man, I even hit it hard. Hey! Thanks for that follow, just some pasta. Being a dude, being a Tigers fan is extremely hard these days, but. Um, you know, we did have, uh, we had some good years there for, for quite some time. So it is what it is. Every team goes through these, uh, rebuild, rebuild stretches. Welcome in staff. Oh man. Uh, he likes his fastball. He's throwing it on the first two pitches. Ignore what just happened. Goes to his fourth pitch, the changeup. And they are, they are five different pitches. Fastball, sinker, slider, changeup, curve. Not one pitch that looks like the other. We could be in for a rough day. On the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two outs on four pitches. Not the kind of way you want to start this game. You gotta refresh. You gotta refresh it, Austin. You shouldn't be in my title anymore. I'll update it again just in case, but you shouldn't. Uh, you should not be in my title anymore. You were at the start because I forgot to change my title and, in fact, my going live notification because I suck. Miguel Cabrera stands in. Welcome in, Jado. Yankees still never rebuild. You're right. They just go out and acquire all the all the big name talent. They just buy it. What a one, Miguel. Clyde Washington, the umpire for game two with Pittsburgh. Ed Drummond will be the umpire next game. We will avoid Woody Keller for now. But but Lord knows he will wreak havoc on us the next time he faces us. In the air, left field, hit hard, but the rain and that wind probably going to knock that ball down. It does. One, two, three inning. And I was good to see, good to hit the ball hard there at the end. Yeah, Woody, Woody will still find a way to screw us. He's gonna, he's gonna punch us out on a, uh, on a steal attempt or something in this game. Probably be stealing with Matt Boyd. He gets a start today, interleague. Which means an American League pitcher has to bat, which is just a damn shame. We have another Dodgers fan around here, Pasta. Mr. Uh, Mr. Vin Sanity. A Dodgers fan. I think he's a Dodgers fan. What way does that go? Is it... Is, who's, a, who's a Dodgers fan? Is it Tori who's a Dodgers fan or is it Vince? I think one's a Giants fan, one's a, one's a Dodgers fan. I think that's the way uh, that works. Hits a homer to center foul. Uh, with, with Woody Keller, I wouldn't be surprised, man. The guy's the worst umpire in the game. Easily. Boyd had to have his last start uh, skipped because of an injury in an injury in warmups that ma meant he couldn't play. Just one of those random ones. I'm wondering today 
if we will see our first rain out of the year. And in essence, then, a uh, or not not uh, um, I was gonna say in essence uh, on the stream, but I think in history on the stream. Hey, we finally got him. Josh Harrison sits. Vince is a Dodgers fan. Tori is a Giants fan. Vince's brother is an Angels fan. Oh, God. That sounds like a bad time. This is Adam Frazier. Bad pitch. Oh, so if Evo's a Pirates fan, he, that means he wants the Pirates to win today. What shampoo do you use? Ah, uh, that would be Old Spice Wolfthorn. I kid you not. The spin was not necessary, Jamer. You're useless at third. I'm going to put Nick Castellanos back there. What are you doing? Let me assist. What on earth are you doing? Here's Starling Marte. And a ball one and oh. And then that? Oh my god, Sony, please. Oh, thank you, Jamer. You made up for it. Oh, you made up for it, dog. Hair is looking perfect. Amen. No, nah, it's it's uh it's 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 having a it's having a good day today. <laughs> it's not wild and unruly. Yeah, Woody Woody probably made Jamer spin. Oh my God! What is this zone? What is this strike zone? And that is a line out right to first base. Well, a little bit of in an interesting uh, error there by Jamer Candelario. He decided to get all flashy and spin over there at third base and threw the ball away. Threw Miguel off first. Nick Castellanos now. In prior matchups with Chad Cool, he's hitless in three at bats. I got Donaldson on DL in. Um, No to both of you. Ha! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, the zone's, the zone's a little bit uh, wonky. Donaldson's been on my fantasy team since I... Or he's been on the DL in my fantasy team since I picked him up. Gonna be a tough play, but a bare hand play by Frazier. If it is Frazier over there... It is, no, it's David Freeze. David Freeze at third. Frazier's a shortstop. Ooh, someone that could get banned. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just read that from that one from Steph. First pitch of the at bat on its way. I need to stop swinging at every pitch. Ball's carrying today though, which is really weird. You'll uh, you'll see it again in the in the best of the uh, best of the month. But um, I kind of went back into mid-March because I didn't have a best of March or a best of February or a best of January. But I promise you the best of the month uh, YouTube videos will come back. You will see my Grand Slam in the World Series and uh, MVP or MV I almost said MVP Baseball 2017. Um, no, uh, MLB The Show 17. His changeup is deceptive. That's the second time I've swung at one way down there. But he's about to get through two innings, potentially, with less than 15 pitches. Oh, leave it in the zone. Nope. Ball two. 
Yeah, the best of the best of March slash April. I could just I might as well make it best of twenty seven or twenty eighteen so far. That changeup is going to be a big, big, big time. Whew. Big time problem for us today. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. People are nuts. All right. Beginner? No. <laughs> yeah, we're we're playing on beginner. I just suck this bad. Um, now we play on uh, we play on all star. Playing on all star to start the season. If we continue the hot pace that we're on, we're gonna up it to uh, to Hall of Fame. But that's as high as it'll go. Oh, make it. the hot corners have been hot today, no doubt about it. A line drive to Candelario got caught, and then now a line drive to Miggy gets caught. They will be tested apparently today. So the cool thing about these uh, these cards will open up in between games today. I guess they have one insert card per pack, which means it's like one card that's better than just the crappy Series 1 cards. Ah, I just missed. This is David Fries. Cardinals World Series hero. There we go. Hey, yeah, call that one a call that one a ball. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh Jesus, that slider missed bad. What about what about my snap? Mine or uh, mine or yours? Do you Snapchat me something stupid? Hopefully the insert cards <laughs> are in sports trading cards are actually relevant. Yeah, that'd be nice. Woo! Okay. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the attack. That's a pretty bad play. Wow. He was doing so well. He was doing so well. Goodbye, Takor. That was lovely. What a charmer. What a guy. That's unbelievable. Oh, my God. All right. Well, um, nobody has a hit yet. Is that all that surprising? On my side, no. On their side, yeah, probably considering Matt Boyd's pitching. Right back up the middle. Diving stop, Adam Frazier. You have got to be kidding me. Okay. Oh, here he is. Here he is, Matt Boyd for the first time. Oh. Here's the first offering. Off the plate. Hey, even a walk would be good for Matt. 
Need Frazier to nuke one to the moon? Well, he just nuked Nico Goodrum at first. Okay. We're seeing him in I'm from. absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. This is not going well. That changeup is dirty, man. I haven't figured it out yet. I have not figured it out. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all, but hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Oh man, everything down is rough today. It doesn't have a whole lot of break to it, which makes it look, it just looks straight. It looks like it's going to hit the bottom of the zone. It's just not right now. I don't know what to do. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Like, the only thing that has, like, break is probably going to be his curve and his sinker just a little bit. Like, he, like, that sinker, and even the sinker doesn't break a whole lot. And Iglesias pops up. We are shit tonight. Through three innings, anyway. Right? Who knew you could get hated for being a mod? I don't know. We're going to stay hydrated about when we need him. This is Ryan Lavarnway. I'm wondering if, uh, I, I would imagine Cervelli is getting, he must have gotten hurt if Lavarnway is starting back-to-back -back games. Either that or it's just a, 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 a weird little, weird little glitch almost. Evo's just kind of been hovering around that zero mark all season. Like, he'll get a positive one, and then he'll get, like, a negative one. I was that way for a little while, but I had some good picks here last week. What is he? He never took the bat off his shoulders. Ryan LaVarnway is just like, here you go, strike me out. Dude, look at Cleveland. They're 7-17, they're seven and 17, nine and a half games back. All right, is this the pitcher? Chad Cool right here. Now here's the pitch. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. <laughs> Austin's protest is hilarious. That's over. Hello! God, these umps are inconsistent today. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a one and two count. I mean, the obvious key right now is his movement on his two-seamer. He's able to spot it up in when he has to, and he's able to go back to her. This game does not hate the idiots, dude. They are they are supercharged this year. Apparently, they just don't simulate well, at least not uh, thus far this season. Remember, they got off to it like a 3-0 and start. They swept the Mariners. Oh, I can't walk the pitcher now. Oh, he swung. Okay. Two outs here in the third inning. Neither offense doing anything. I guess that's the product of, uh, well, a National League game. All right. Got the bottom of the zone there with the circle change. Second time through the order here. You got to mix up your pitches. They are not swinging this inning. When you're facing a guy with this many pitches in at all. I say throw everything out. O2. Popped up. Matt Boyd. Yeah, the base runner was an error. Indeed, indeed it was. Down in order go the Pirates. We'll head to the fourth. Still scoreless. Broken bat, little pop up off the bat of Josh Harrison. Here's Leonis Martin, top of the order, back up for the Tigers. It'll be Martin, Candelario, and the big fella, Miguel Cabrera. I just got to see, I watched that sinker, and it's in the zone, because of course. 
That's even his slider. I mean, he's just throwing everything down today. And I and I am I'm not able to make contact on it right now. That was a contact swing. I think I was just behind it. I may strike out more times than ever today. This might be a season high in strikeouts. Ripped left, right field by the glove of Josh Bell. And in there, first hit for either team, Jamer Candelario. Just out in front on that ball. It's a ball you really like to take the other way, but... Uh, either way, I will not complain. Yeah, Jamer's back to even on the day. Here's Miguel, who I believe struck out the first time. Rip left field on a line, though. <sighs> Boy, oh boy. This will be game one, Clive. This will be game one. Well, we'll see what Castellanos can do with one on, two out. Jeff with the appropriately timed Casty. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? He really loves a sinker, slaughter, everything that I can't hit. Off the plate, 2-0. Oh. He's not falling behind like this very often. In the air, looks uh, to be shallow, and it is. Oh, boy. Well, we get a hit. That's one thing. First, first hit of the day for either team. Two, three, four coming up for Pittsburgh. I think I have three players on the DL. I don't know when they're coming back. I got Salvador Perez back this week, which was nice. Ripped the left field, left the pitch up. First hit of the game for the Pirates. Hey, later, J-Dub. Does that mean Austin's technically at one now? It's the opposite way. It's always, uh, it's never a ball that's pulled that seems to break up no hitters. So both no hitters done for. Fouled off. It'll be 0 2 on Starling Marte. Up the middle. Not a great throw, but we got the double play. Marte. Even the speedy Starling Marte could not beat out that double play. It was not a great throw by Iglesias because I'm, I, I really should have had Nico Goodrum run that ball to second instead of flipping it because Iglesias just couldn't get a good throw off. But the first hit of the day wiped out. Yeah, Marte technically negative too. Ripped. But foul. Corey Dickerson, who hit the IRL walk-off today. Off Alex Wilson. Fouled off again. Tiger's garbage pen, as Austin calls it. Rears its ugly head again. Doesn't matter who the Tigers put in there. They'll blow it eventually. That's the unfortunate part. I believe it was the first batter that um, Wilson had faced. Fouled off. I think it's slider away. Uh, yeah, Dickerson did hit a walk-off. Ah, awful pitch. 
Didn't nail that slider. And Dickerson will stand on first. Two outs, though. Just can't let anything happen. Josh Bell hit a perfect, perfectly aimed home run yesterday. Oof. Got to calm Boyd down a little bit. Mount visit just to make sure he's still got some confidence. Ah. Oh. Well, we got the benefit of the call that uh, that time. I'm hoping I beat Vince. I need a, I need my first win on the year. Boyd's command is a little wonky. Foul away. Late on a two-seamer. Slider will find the bottom of the zone. Bell didn't even offer at it. And we are through four. One hit aside, quick pace to this one. Jacoby Jones will lead off. I'm considering just taking the cap off of this water so I don't have to, like, suck it, suck the water out of it. Can I do it? Is that possible? Yes. There we go. And then I don't have to, like, hold the cap. We're going to open. All right, Jacoby, let's go. We have a 1-1 one, one count. Those middle pitches. I don't think he's thrown. I do not think he's thrown a curveball yet. Not one. I can pull the trigger that time. Um, ah, shit. Where does he go? Popped up. Come on, man. Yikes. Won't be available all day tomorrow. Don't miss me too much. Well, we'll try. I will be streaming sometime tomorrow afternoon, but uh, unknown on the exact time yet. Work in the evening, so hopefully hopefully around three or four. Ball in the dirt to John Hicks. Hicks getting the start behind the plate today for McCann. And that's ripped to left field. Will it carry out? No. No carry out there today. And right into the glove of Corey Dickerson. Getting Chipotle to my dude. I don't even think there's a if there's a Chipotle in Michigan, there's no it's nowhere near us. It's nowhere near me. His pitch count is in outstanding shape. Of course there's the the Turbo Yoda. Of course. Of course, there is a Turbo Yoda Twitch account now. <sighs> I shouldn't be down two strikes right now. That last one was a strike, but that first one is ridiculous. Inside of the slider, the Turbo Yoda with the follow. Jesus. On the ground. We are just not good enough right now, but the good thing is neither are they. There are definitely Chipotles in Michigan. Or Chipotles or whatever the hell. If there is, they're, 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 I guarantee you ha there, are, there are none probably within a couple hours of me. I could see there being one maybe in TC. Couldn't die for it. <sighs> All right, second hit of the ball game for Pittsburgh, and it's David Fries. I'm not saying that isn't my test account, but it may be my test account. <laughs> Just maybe. All right, Boyd, let's get this together now. 
Oh, he had to go there. Yeah, that's right. I was going to say, Jesus. Slider will drop in. Swing and a miss. Two-seam fastball. Tied him up. Polanco will sit. Good job by Matt Boyd to get it out after the leadoff single. I'll see if we can get uh, the next batter to ground into a double play. It's Ryan LaVarnway. In the air. Ooh, that's hit hard. Nick's going to have to run for it. We'll force the runner back to first. Good running play by Castellanos. <laughs> Who needs a test account? Accidentally push start stream instead of recording, and it tests good enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is getting insane. Pitcher will be forced to hit here, Chad Cool. Two outs, runner on. Uh, the Turbo Yoda account may be the new GOAT. Fouled off. Swing and a miss. Down goes Chad Cool, and that is why that is a prime example. In fact, I'm going to clip this. That is a prime example. Why the DH is a great thing, and American League Baseball is the way to go. It's pretty much that's pretty much how it is. Here's uh, Matt Boyd. Our pitcher will lead off, but our offense is already struggling. Sixth inning already. This game time could be under an hour. He is aiming for that down and inside corner. Just oh, so bad. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And this will be fouled away. Everything down to the goddamn pitcher. Thanks. Not a bad pitch there with you. Matt Boyd already 0 for 1 with a strikeout. At least we're seeing some pitches here. Oh, that's going to drop. Base hit for Matt Boyd. He erases his negative. And a leadoff single now. But the unfortunate thing now is that Matt Boyd has to run the bases. So he'll put the jacket on and do so. Iglesias now, the number nine hitter. And that nearly hit him in the foot. A little bloop single for Matt Boyd. Drops in right in front of Corey Dickerson. 22 speed. That's better than Victor Martinez. That's almost better than Miguel Cabrera. So not a not a bad uh, bad base runner, I suppose. And a rip to short. Boyd will have to get back. Evo's been saying he was going to pick the pitcher in interleague for a long time. I did it yesterday. Yeah, Austin, you missed it. The craziest thing happened. Turbo Yoda, Turbo Yoda stopped by. It's crazy. He is real. I mean, Turbo Yoda might as well be Santa Claus. And that's going to be a double play. Good thing nobody picked Leonis Martin. Base hit. But wiped out by the double play. Matt Boyd, of all people, getting hits when the rest of our offense can't. Josh Harrison will lead off the bottom of the sixth. 
circle change will drop in. He's getting to the point where we're going to have to start watching his pitch count. Sixth inning might be about the ceiling for him, depending on how long this inning goes. Going to have to be a great play. Candy! We're going to get him at second, though. Hey! Josh Harrison thrown out at second after Jamer Candelario had it go right under his glove. Let's see if that call was called an error. It was not, so that is not another negative for Candy. Would have been a second error of the ball game. In the air. Oh no. Oh no. Austin can't be right. Leonis Martino will run it down. Strike in there. One for five in his career, Starling Marte is against Matt Boyd. He didn't thank me for the biddies. I didn't hear him. Ah, I'm sorry. Step with two bits. I didn't hear him. Was something going on when it happened? On the ground. Second base side. Goodrum. Good throw. Well, this game is soaring by. It is absolutely flying by. We are going to the seventh inning. Yeah, see, I was yelling, so I didn't hear it. That, I'm pretty sure my internet was exploding. Jamer Candelaria leads off the seventh. I am going to actually step off. Can I step out? Can I step out? Is that a thing? Come on! I hit the button about a million... Game doesn't let me step out, and then they give me a crap call. Like they, it, I think Woody Keller is influencing the calls from second base. Because, Jesus. 100 bits from Jeff squad. today, up to 200 for the week. Hey! The God Squad's got to get some games in, hopefully, tonight. I was going to get somebody up in the bullpen. Didn't go, 3-0. Well, it should be 3-0. It's 2-1. In the air. Right field. Hit hard. Not hard enough. This is just one of those weird games where neither team can hit. All right. Bullpen. I'm not uh, taking Boyd out immediately, but I'm thinking... The legend of Bob Bob continues. It'll be bottom seven, so I'd like Jimenez, then hopefully Wilson, and then Green in the ninth if we can get a lead here. The legend of Bob Bob continues. Bob Bob will always be a legend with 100 more bits for Jeff. Jeff, and I should have had this ball going. That ball should be in left field. Instead, under it, and some go some garbo happens. When is Bob Bob going to show? I don't know, man. He doesn't stop by anymore. He's probably he's probably busy. Oh, get foul. There we go. 61 pitches in the seventh is embarrassing. In the air, but a right to right fielder. Gregory Polanco. Two balls hit hard to right field. Nothing to show for it. It's just the epitome of our offensive struggles today. This is unreal. We cannot do anything. Anything with the bats today. Yeah, we aimed that perfectly to the right fielder. Itty bitty little bitties. Why am I missing those? That was the second ball right down the middle that I popped up. Jesus. Yeah, Jeff must have just been saving up some bits today. How about 400 for the week now? 
He's, I think easily probably the bit leader. He's probably closing in on Steph now for, for total bits ever. Well, Boyd will have to start the seven. Swing and a miss. This is Corey Dickerson. It's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. Hey, this guy has been located his fast. That ball hit hard. Caught by Nick Castellanos. Good running play. I thought I was going to have to lay out for that if I was going to catch it, but uh, Nick did a good job to run that down. He does not have bad speed. Yeah, right? I need his bat in the lineup. He has one of our two hits. In the air, it's going to be a tough running play. But Leonis Martin can cover some ground. Two fly ball outs, and he might easily cruise through the seventh inning. You've given me twenty six dollars so far. That is insane. You did have a you did have a five dollar dono. Uh, once I remember that, and then quite a few uh, quite a few biddies in there. Oh, that ball's hit hard. Oh, that ball's hit hard, but it's gonna hook foul. Oh my God, my life just flashed before my eyes. Swing and a miss on the slider. David Fries, you are not getting on. There he is. Boyd getting tired. It's going to have to be his last inning. Change up on the ground. Seven shutout innings for Matthew Boyd. Unless we could score in the eighth inning, he will not get a decision. Three hit baseball through seven. But our offense, neither offense has been able to. To uh, to get anyone going, to, to to get anything going all day. Chad Cool has help on the way in the bullpen. Chad Segrist. But I mean, this is the most efficient anyone's been against us all year. Joe Jimenez will have the eighth. Need our best pitchers uh, coming in for this one. In the air, come on, man! Why are we hitting everything so high? Are we just under everything today? Better bat with Boyd. I might have to, but uh, I'd rather bring Victor Martinez in off the bench to uh, to hit than Matt Boyd. He's not due up in this inning anyway. Oh, that ball was ripped by John Hicks. And that nearly broke our Absolutely ripped. Way out in front on it, though. Oh, on its way. Held up on that slider. The PCI is... Uh, that's why I don't really use the PCI. I try to use the uh, directional, but... Hitting's garbage in this game regardless. Up and in, two and one. Can we somehow take the lead here? I don't. I, I was looking for something a little bit higher. I couldn't swing at it. Especially, I wasn't expecting a fastball either. Well, let's see what he gives us. I'm gonna call the changeup. That's what's been killing us today. Jammed us. Pop up. And another one. Yeah. Or did you drink like too much, uh, too much G fuel today or something? It's always that as well. Well, Nico Goodrum is our only hope in getting a run in the first eight innings. Caught by Jeff. I swear we're hitting the ball hard. We're just not getting the results today. It'll be in the hands of Joe Jimenez. Matt Boyd will come out. Seven strong innings. God. I don't know. Here's Polanco. Jimenez is a better pitcher. 
Give me Adam Frazier. Give me Adam Frazier. My God. Austin takes third place on that bit leaderboard. Bit leaderboard is all sorts of crowded. Jeff with 400. Steph with 44. Austin now with 20. Polanco goes around on a slider. It'll be a strikeout for Joe Jimenez. Here's the final line for Boyd. 82 pitches. He struck out eight. Walked one. Allowed three hits in seven innings. And yet he will get a no decision. This has a... Uh, oh, no, no, no. Don't do this to me. Don't postpone the game. What is this? 90-minute rain delay in the eighth inning. Um, uh, I guess I'll take Wilson. Well, that's our first rain delay of the year. They would have called that game if anyone would have had the lead, I would assume. A 90-minute rain delay in the eighth inning. Well, but we have to put uh, the game in the hands of someone who's, well... <laughs> who actually lost the game for the Tigers today. First pitch of the at -bat. In the air, left field, carrying. That ball going back over the head of Jacoby Jones. Going to be a double for LaVarnway with one out and then a bad throw. But Goodrum cuts it off. Ryan LaVarnway rips it. Right over the head of Jones. Maybe a taller outfielder. We can get that one. First pitch from Matt or uh, uh, Alex Wilson. Hammer to left. And now Colin Moran will pinch hit. I would not be surprised to see a bunt here. But we're not getting one. I was going to go get some ice cream today, but I, uh, I didn't go to. I was going to go to Dairy Queen, but I didn't. In the air, right field. It's going to get down. It's going to have to be a good throw from Nick. I don't think he's going to get him. Run scores. Bottom eight, and Alex Wilson, true to form, blows it. Two batters. He's allowed a hit to both. My, oh, my. Not even a bad pitch. I was off the plate. Well, I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, that, uh, first pitch did miss. I forgot. What an awful pitch. No Adam Frazier dinger happening here. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off. The rains came and all of a sudden the Pirates offense has woken up. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Alex Wilson needs to be DFA'd. No, get foul. Thank God. Curveball on the ground. Should be two. It is. Well, the Pirates, after a rain delay in which Joe Jimenez started the inning, Alex Wilson comes in, allows two hits, and all of a sudden, we are down in this game, and we will have to face Felipe Rivero. He is not Felipe Vasquez in this game. And who are we going to bring in? Going to have to be Victor. Rain delay probably called by Woody Keller. Indeed. This guy throws gas. Victor Martinez, base hit to lead it off. And now we will pinch run for him. Lead off man on. 
What is going on? The rain comes, goes, and all of a sudden, both offenses are getting hits. Step off. I substitutions. We're going to sub Victor. Put Victor Reyes in. Gas. That'd be gas, Steph. Victor Reyes will pinch run, and in the bullpen, we will get up. Shane Green, just in case we take the lead. And... Could go Johnny Barbado, but I'd really not like to use him. We'll, we'll put Daniel Stumpf in. Oh, he hung a curveball. And I missed it. Too early on it. Off the plate, 101. I did not say he throws ass. He does not throw ass. Called it straight up. Good to see. When's the fastball coming? Down low, three and one. Leonis Martin on deck. Is a potential that I would pinch a hit for him. Three and one, fastball, good spot. Now three and two. Where does he go? Swing and a miss. He got us on a change. He did not throw as many fastballs in that at-bat, which is literally Felipe Rivera's bread and butter, but he didn't even do it. Gave me nothing. Substitutions. Martin, you're coming out. I don't even have a guy that can play center, though, but it doesn't matter. McCann, you come in. We can move Nico Goodrum. We can move Nico Goodrum to the outfield if we have to. Take McCann out and put Dixon Machado in the middle infield. You hate s'mores? Why? Down low. And you can't steal on Rivero. His fastball is just too fast. He's got a quick delivery. And as soon as I mention stealing, they're throwing over to first base. Ripped down the line, but just foul. Ah! Come on. Not even close to where I wanted it. I wouldn't be shocked to see the change up here. Slider down low. Rivero is throwing. He's throwing a lot of pitches. He's throwing 11 pitches already. Victor came out swinging, but the last two batters. Oh, staying alive, but that was ball three. That changeup is nasty. I don't know what to do with it. In the air. Center field not going to get down, though. Uh, well, that yeah, was probably our chance right there. Ball was ripped. What's up, Jay Strong? I could tell as soon as it was hit, it was going to get caught. And now, Jamer Candelario, who has a hit today. Is the last chance for the Tigers. Maybe extend the inning for Miguel Cabrera. That would probably be ideal. Miguel Cabrera can handle one of those Rivera fastballs. Off the plate, 2-0. Big time stuff right here. 
He knows he needs a strike. I think he's going to go with that change if he's confident in it. Needed to be out in front on that. Instead, we were laid on it. Two and one. Oh, candy. Oh. <laughs> we were not even that out in front of it. Swing and a miss. Candelario down on strikes. And that'll do it for game one. A one nothing loss to the Pittsburgh Pirates. Leave it to Alex Wilson. Super Tigers fan is right. He does need to be DFA'd. Yeah, I should. Let's see if I can turn the draft on on my phone. So I can see uh, see what's going on. Who do you think the Browns are taking? There's a lot of a lot of whispers that they're thinking of uh, taking Baker Mayfield, which I have always have said throughout this entirety. I think he's better than all the other ones. I don't. I have seen nothing out of Josh Allen. He played in the Mountain West. 